Welcome back to Let's Play Sweet Coden. So actually I went back to the castle and changed my party up a little bit. I added Lepang, Jupo, and Taiho to my party because we can recruit some more party members now. So first, let's go back down here. Talk with this fella. Gaspar. How about a game, boss? If you win, I will join you. Alright, let's play. Alright, here we go! So again, I'm going to abuse save states here. No, I know how the game's played. Now let's play. How much? No. Oh, whoops. Let's go for 5,000. Yes. <clears throat> okay, let's do that. <coughs> All right, he screwed up. All right, well, I guess I didn't have to save the game anyways. You're a lucky one. A lucky man can do anything. I'll throw in my chips with you. Gaspar joins. Sweet. That was really lucky. And let's see. All right. <coughs> so I got 10,000 bits from that just there. Sweet. All right, so I believe there's someone else in Kaku we can recruit. Yes, her again. Remember she was looking for Jupo? Why, it's Meg. What are you doing here? Oh, my. <clears> Hee <throat> hee. I was hoping to learn some tricks from you. I didn't know you were a member of the Liberation Army. I, uh... I'll join, too. No, you mustn't. Why not? Hey, Mr. Bo, please let me join. Yes. Absolutely. Hooray! Now I can learn all these tricks from Uncle Jupo. Who says I'll teach you? Lucky me! And Meg joins. Alright. So now let's head back over to Seika, where there's one more person I believe we can recruit. Hopefully we don't get into any battles, although eh, it doesn't really matter. We're strong enough. So let's go into the inn, and should be someone here. Him? Sheena. Sorry, I'm busy right now. <clears throat> hey, why don't you come and play with me? Our family's rich, you know. Sheena. <clears throat> Uh-oh, Dad. I believe you told me you were going on a journey to learn about the world. I, uh, like I said... There's a chasing woman learning about the world. If you're coming with me, I'll beat some sense into you. Ouch, okay, okay, I'll do as you say, so don't pull my ear. Alright, so three more characters. Did we lose... Yeah, we lost uh, Lapa from our party, but... I'm going to actually go and... get... the party that I want to use now from our castle, and I will meet you back at Kaku. Alright, I'm back, and this is my party now. I switched Victor with Pawn, because it's going to be kind of important to have him in my party for later. And, yeah, I bought them equipment, and got their, uh, their weapon level up. So, let's get rid of these guys. Ouch! Man, Pawn really needs to level up. There we go. But he should gain quite a few levels here. Only nine? Wow, that sucks. Oh well, so we just go down to the Great Forest. Maybe I should heal Pawn up. Alright, so back down the Great Forest. That's funny, it's true, you know, elves have been seen coming out of here. My god, you! Everybody, it's true, there's an elf here! We're not Kazarakis, there's a secret elf in trail up ahead, let's hurry. So just in here, maybe? 
And you know what, I'm just going to pause it here and I'm going to gain some levels, especially with Pawn and Kirkus. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I did some leveling up and the area behind this point is under spell. Without me, you'll get lost. Please stick together. Okay. So we have new area here. Ooh. I want that treasure. And I'm just going to let these guys go because they're pretty annoying. Uh-oh. Oh, Vicky. What, what? Uh-oh, looks like I blew it. Say, where are we? The Empire? Which one? My goodness, almost the other side? My, fa my name's Vicky. I'm a poor soul with nowhere to go. Won't you protect me? Alright, let's take Vicky along. Oh, thank you! What, the Liberation Army? You have a castle? Wow! Where is it? That's pretty close. Alright then, let's go! Alright, we got Vicky who can teleport. Very nice. Let's go get some treasure! Get a needle. Okay. I think these are a new kind of kobold here. But whatever, let's just use the Master People attack to take him out pretty quickly. Or maybe they are the same ones that I've been fighting. Oh well. No big deal, and they give a ton of experience. Well, for this point in the game. Alright, Gremio and Clear are at level 23. Sweet. Water rune piece. Nice. Should put that on someone else's weapon. Hopefully... I'm not missing any treasure up there. Dang it. Fortune rune piece. Okay. I will go up and get that treasure. Be right back. <coughs> Alright, and I get an escape talisman. Hooray! I just want to check up here, make sure I'm not missing anything this way. Which I was. Okay. Alright, what do we have? A gauntlet. Uh, what is that? Wow. Defense plus four? Okay. Well, I guess I'll give that to Kirkus. Oh, shoot. I was going to buy some more of those uh, things. What are they? Emblems, but I forgot. Get them at the Great Forest Town. Oh well. Let's just keep going. Okay. What do we have over here? Here we go. New village. What the? What's wrong? This is the kobold village, but all the kobolds are gone. Yeah, we've been killing them all. Kuromimi. Black ears. Bow wow, you ha humans take away my friends. Not forgive. Grr, not forgive, sniff sniff, but no time now. Kuromimi fix everyone's sickness. He's saying his friends were taken away and everyone is sick. Something happened here. Let's hurry to our village. Maybe they know something there. Village of the Elves is east of here. Okay. Is there really nobody here? Wow. I guess not. Oh, well, let's go to the village of the Elves. So I guess we're on the other side of the forest here. Is there anything down south? Huh. Something down there. Wow, these battles are so frequent now. Why? All right, whatever. Oh, there's a magician kobold here, I guess. And a strong arm. Well, the magician wasn't very strong. Yay, good job, pawn. All right, Morgan money. Oh, it's like a tree. Let me in. 
Oh, this is the village of the elves. Okay. <clears throat> I thought they said it was east of the Kobold village. Whatever. Valeria. That's enough. Listen to me. How dare you be so insulting? Listen, listen, you say. I didn't know that you humans could talk. So what do you have to say? Have you thought of a good way to exterminate us with your tiny minds? That's right, Quanda's planning something truly frightening. Not only is he going to wipe you out, he's planning to burn down this entire forest. This forest al that also happens to be my home. You humans are too stupid to realize such a task. Hey, lock this one up. Okay. Well, what's going on in here? At least the item shop here is stocked. Okay. Do we have anything we can sell here? Oh, I should get that white paint back to the castle. Oh, well. What about in the armor shop? Any good stuff here? Wow. <clears throat> That's expensive, but very good. Feather, probably not worth it. I mean, it's just a... Nobody can equip the necklace. I, I picked one up in the forest, but... Ooh, that's tempting, but... Nah, not right now. We're still fine, I guess. Okay, what about the rune master? I actually haven't checked the runes of my other characters, so... Kaya's haze rune, boar rune, fire rune... Looks like Kirkus doesn't have anything. Is there a blacksmith in this town? No? Kirkus is a coward? Aw, oh, that's too bad. Hello? What do you want? Oh, I don't have the, any runes I can attach. They're just for, I guess, the weapons. And there's no blacksmith here, oh no. Who's this character? Humans help? Psh, gotta be kidding me. Yeah, sure, if your husband was around. Whatever, let's go in the chief's hut. Sylvina. Kirkus, why did you leave me alone? I was lonely. I didn't mean to leave you alone. How terrible going off alone. You should have taken me with you. Was it fun outside? No, I mean, I didn't get to go out and play, you know? I didn't take you because I didn't want you in danger. Of course. Hey, old geezer. Kirkus, why did you leave without my permission? What did you do out there? There are humans who are fighting the Empire, too. I'd love to get help from the Liberation Army, as they call themselves, to protect the village of the elves. Protect this village? What are you talking about? We don't need human help to protect ourselves. It's true that at one point Quanda's men had the upper hand, but they're humans after all. They've been behaving themselves recently. But... <clears throat> Shut up, Kirkus. You left the village without permission, and dared return with filthy humans. Lock them all up. Yes, sir. But why? Why, Grandpa? Why are you arresting Kirkus? Well, come on. We can fight our way out. Who are you? Stallion? <coughs> well, if it isn't chicken-hearted Kirkus who turned and ran when he found the Imperial Army was attacking. Hey, don't you remember me, Stallion? The fastest pair of feet in this village, didn't you know? You should have seen how fast I ran when Quanda attacked. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, uh, good for you. Who the hell are you? Liberation Army come to help the elves? I guess we're all fools here. That's an Imperial uniform. Yep, I was a fool too. I risked my life to betray the Empire, and look at me now, how stubborn these elves are. They refuse to believe what I know. So what is it you know? Oh that, the man in charge of this region is the great General Quanda Rosman. He has commissioned a horrible weapon to exterminate the rebellious elves. Horrible weapon? What is it? I'm not sure, but it's called the Burning Mirror. They say it can burn down an entire forest in an instant. Not only the elves, but the village where I was born. That's why I came. I wanted to warn the elves of this danger so they could prevent the Burning Mirror's completion. And before you knew it, you were in this prison! Uh, 
Alright, so what are we going to do about this burning mirror and getting out of prison? Find out next time on Let's Play Suikoden. See you next time.